All right, we'll move to the next market, and that's the crypto market. Uh, very interesting things happening right there. But before we get our guests to talk about that, uh, we see that it's a, a lot of red today, but don't be deceived. Uh, Bitcoin is still looking good at 34,000 there, dropped at 1.16%. Uh, but I mean, remember, just look at this, and then we'll know that we're still looking at least safe grounds for now. And uh, Ethereum has also dropped, of course, when a Bitcoin drops, we expect others to move. Let's see the market sentiment. So you see the market is still greedy. It, uh, it may be a good time to make some profit, take some profit, uh, but remember to leave some investment there because, you know, it's a go there and then it's a come back up again. It's always a cycle. Let's see the prices of the coins right there. We saw that of Bitcoin. We saw that of Ethereum and then we see BNB gain and then Cardano also dropped. Uh, XRP also lost more than 1% uh, to close at 0.54%. Now, um, an interesting story caught my eye um, just before we came on air. And I, I hope Sheo is aware of it. Hi, Sheo and Daniel. Good morning. Thank you for your time. Hi, good morning. Yeah, so I hear Bitcoin price is, is uh, different values in different countries now, but surging even higher in um, emerging economies. And I see that now the Naira gained somewhat uh, at the P2P, even though it's not, uh, you know, um, officially recognized. So the Naira traded, I think about 1,100 or so, just before I came on air. How can we explain this? Um, so pretty much, I think on the peer-to-peer -peer market, you know, following the, it works just like, you know, it's a, it's a, it's an open market, you know, willing buyer, willing seller. And um, I think some of the things that have affected prices, you know, which may then also spiral into the FX market, is the fact that um, we can now see that there's, there will be government stability. You know, before the Supreme Court judgment, everybody would probably have been speculating that, okay, could there be a change in government? How would that affect people's investments? But after the Supreme Court judgment was issued yesterday and, you know, in favor of uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, everyone can now sit back. Most of the investors can plan. So I believe that most of the speculators have then seen that, well, there's no point holding on to um, FX or to, you know, hedging their Naira. And so everybody decided to sell off. And that was why we see, you know, that huge dip. I think it was over 100 or 200 Naira loss. You know, mm. for, I mean, well, again for the Naira. Let me put it that way. <laughs> again for Nigeria. <laughs> yes, again for Nigeria. Yeah, but but that doesn't explain why in Argentina, in Turkey, price of Bitcoin is surging. You know, at different levels. So the um, the reason for the so I mean, what those countries have in common is high rate of inflation. Of course, there's also, unfortunately, people do not trust their governments and the financial institutions within these countries. And um, because of the high risk of inflation, people, the value of people's money has reduced. So people are looking for um, ways to hedge their funds, where to invest and, you know, do things outside of the traditional financial institutions. And of course, you heard nobody news in the ETF, you know, boom, that Bitcoin has been appreciating in price, Ethereum appreciating in price. So people are definitely looking for, you know, um, alternative sources, alternative investments so they can put in their money and make higher returns, you know, in order to be able to cater for their day to day needs. So, and uh, Bitcoin is sort of readily available in those countries, you know, in the black markets. So, in the same thing, demand and supply. So, a lot of people are going to uh, buy Bitcoin in those countries in order to be able to safeguard uh, their money against inflation. Mm. So how do you see this weekend uh, for Nigeria now that uh, the, uh, the Naira is gaining on the P2P platform? The weekend. Yes. the weekend for Nigeria is going to be very interesting, you know. And of course, our reference with what uh, the former active governor of CBN said, you know, Mr. Shonobi, where he said, speculators will be shocked, you know. So people who have been speculating and shorting the Naira, you know, might just have, you know, a very huge shock. So best thing is will be, you know, businesses who actually need the FX, who actually need, um, you know, crypto, USDT, whatever it is, should be the ones who are trading, you know, not the entire, not the entire nation trying to hedge against uh, Naira. So Naira will gain, you know, the Minister for Finance has, you know, put out some news about things that are going to happen in the very short term. So I believe that everybody should trust the government. So this weekend, I think 
Yeah, speculators will be shocked. All right. Will be in the upshare. All right. Well, if speculators are shocked, it's good for the country, good for Naira. Very good for very good so for We look forward for to Naira. it, Chiu. Thank you so much. Chief Executive Thank Officer of Trade Father. All right, so if you're a speculator, maybe you should get ready to be shocked this weekend. According to Sheo, Naira should gain good for the nation, right? Well, we hope uh, it should come that way. But that's it on Business Morning for today, Friday.